Sarah Poth and those art hands. We're going to make a fire breathing dragon today and wrap him around our castle. So we have a piece of clay about like this. You know, I'm going to take just a teeny bit of my clay back because I think I might want a crocodile to put in my mold around my castle. Now you'll see that I've already done my castle. My castle is made on a piece of cardboard. There's cardboard down here. This is cardboard. I've colored it with crayons and a metallic pen and uh, um, a time marker. So it's things that are simple to have around. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna roll me. I like to call him a snake. When you're in um, ceramic class in school, your teacher's gonna call it a coil. So this is my snake. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut open his mouth just like that. I'm gonna turn him around. I'm gonna turn it like this because I want the thicker part up there. I'm gonna do it like this. Give him some spikes. A few more. I'm gonna keep going. Keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Now today we're making a European dragon. So our European dragon looks different than our Chinese dragon. He's fierce and he's going to be a fire breathing dragon. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some tissue paper and we're going to roll it around. Just kind of twist and roll it. I'm going to put red, yellow and orange together. Give him a fire breathing dragon here. Now you may want to trim. Now this is just kind of up to you. You can play around with it. See what you think. I'm going to twist. I'm going to come back in here with my scissors. I'm going to trim some of this off because I don't think I need all that. I think I want to trim a little bit. So I want to see some of the other colors that I put in there. Like that. Then I'm going to take, whoops. Oh, let's just use this. I think this is going to be good enough. I'm going to take this in here. Just see how it fits. Okay. And then I'll get my Elmer's glue on there. I'm going to do that a little bit later because I want to go ahead and show you the rest of this. I have these seeds. Then I'm going to put one of those in there for his eye. Now I'm going to want to do the same thing with that. I'm going to want to get that Elmer's glue in there and glue that eye in because once this clay, and we are using Model Magic, once it starts to dry, then uh, those things will pop out. So then I've made me a little ledge back here. I've just bent down those. So I've made me a little ledge for him to go on. That doesn't mean you have to put him up here, but I think he looks fun up here. You know, you're welcome to do it however you think. So I'm gonna go and play with it. And I'm gonna put it around like that. I want his spikes to be up. Now when Model Magic dries, you need to make sure that you don't play with it. You can play with it now and get it like you want. But once it dries, you need to just let it be. It's kind of like mom's items that are breakable that she doesn't want you to really play with because you don't want to break them. That's kind of how this is going to be when it gets dry. So you can play with it, model it, and then when it gets dry, you need to leave it be. Now we have a tray of items like this all kinds of fun things that you can come back in here and you can glue and you can place in and around your scene make it a little fancier a little girl more girly if you want you might take a little bit of the clay 
make you a little base on it. That's a little base on a plant. Or I've got some bigger beads that you can take and you can put this down in and you can put one of these here by the door. You can just have lots of fun decorating and fixing it like you would like it to look. So then one of my students asked me about an alligator. Could they make an alligator? And so what they did is they took and they rolled a piece of clay into three pieces. And then they cut it kind of like we did for the dragon. Just cut it a little bit. And on that eye, you probably want to either look for something smaller or you want to just take like a marker and make it. Okay, just make an indention in there. And then they set this like it were the pieces. Like it was going under the water. It's a big old dragon. Not a dragon, but a big old alligator. And it was under the under the castle scene. I don't think I need him, but that might be something that you like to do. And I want you to now be able to take this and make it your own. Okay, this is Sarah Poff and those art hens. You have a great day now.